Okay, for purposes of this video, we're going to show you how to multi-unlink a device. Now, the only time you'd really use that is if you've already linked maybe more than three or four switches to a single button or a switch, and instead of going back each time to put it into unlink mode and unlinking those switches, you actually want to just do it once. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this A button and put it into multi-unlink mode. Now, the same process would work for a switch. If we were going to do the switch, we'd hold the set button in for three seconds, we would let go, we'd hold it in for three, we would let go, then we would add the single tap on that set button. That'll put it in the multi mode. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on the keypad. You want to make sure that whatever button you're talking to is the last one that you touched. In this case, we're going to hold the set button in for three seconds. That first time, it's in link mode. We're going to hold it again now for three seconds. Now we're in unlink mode. We're going to now do a single tap and release on the set button. That puts us in multi-unlink. Now we can go around the house and we can hold the set button on all of the devices that we don't want the A button to control anymore. So let's go do that. Okay, there's the first device that we just removed. Now we want to remove one more device. We're going to hold the set button in on that device for three seconds. And we were able to remove that link also. We did get the confirmation. Now this is going to stay in this mode for four minutes unless I tap the button and take it out of that mode. Now I can confirm it by turning that switch or that button on and off and the loads will now no longer respond. Mm -hmm.